I cannot tell you much about this location. I'd rather not tell you much about where we are at the moment. <laughs> What up guys? Welcome back to Drift Squadron Base. We've been quite busy recently, as you know, the A86 project is going on. Uh, we made a nice collaboration with uh, Lenovo Legion, still doing that. And now when the car is back at the base, uh, we're going to do some upgrades or maintenance or whatever you want to call it, since our brakes were rear brakes were already kind of bad and it went from bad to worst when we were shooting for the Planet TV at Raceland and we have already a 350Z or Z33 kit for the rear as well and today we're gonna put it on we're gonna try it out and we're gonna go from there and we as well have an option to go with the dual caliper system or as i like to call it a standalone hydraulic handbrake system and hopefully this guy this is gonna make our experience a lot better and as you maybe know we already upgraded the front brake system from the skyline r33 gdr brakes so just received them freshly painted calipers bright yellow to go with the car uh, thanks to the greatest, aka Pero, aka Pana Bikes, uh, always doing an amazing job painting the stuff. Uh, now we need to assemble everything together, put in uh, those pistons, uh, rubbers, all that stuff. basically done most of the job putting back the anti-dust rubbers uh, put, putting back in the pistons now we need to secure those rubbers with this yeah. so just bear in mind the idea was not to make like show and shine calipers but just to tidy them up uh, color match them for the car and make them work again one side almost done uh, we'll finish the other side and yeah we need to figure out the new feeds uh, for the brake for it to be caliper okay so let's get down to business so this guy here was a bit of unpatient and already removed the rear tire and lift up the car yesterday yeah yeah yesterday so he's always a bit in front of us recently how's that what's the recipe mm, get up earlier in the morning no i think you drink too much monster energy yeah, from maybe. the free refrigerator <laughs> okay so we need to disassemble everything the wheel spacers and the caliper here this the little caliper. tiny one and as you see the rear brakes from the s14 uh, are not like vented it's just yeah a plain little disc small one so yeah we're gonna remove that all first uh the fitting from the brake line should be the same yeah it as should we, fit as exactly. we did the quick test and the thing with the wise fab is it already has a mount here for an optional dual caliper system but as mentioned first we're just gonna put those uh, 350Z calipers on, test it out, remove them again because we want to paint them yellow, and then we're gonna decide either we're gonna go dual caliper or not. So, we have the honors. Just one nut on. Like a brand new. 
we should grease this up a bit. Huh? A lot of different uh, dust compounds. And brake compounds. And Tires, compounds. brakes, uh, gravel, yeah. uh, tarmac. <laughs> We're making it nice and clean, but we're gonna put some grease on as well. So it doesn't stick together like it was. Brand new discs. Just the regular stuff. Okay. Does it work or does it hit anything? No, it doesn't hit anything yet. But let's see how it sits with the caliper. Yes. Because uh, Z33 discs uh, have like the inner, how do you call them, pads for the handbrake. So they are made a bit differently. But let's see. They say it should work. So first we need to bolt on the disc so we can check the clearance of the disc with the knuckles and the calipers and all that so because i don't know maybe we're gonna use some maybe you're gonna need to use some space or something i think it's enough huh a few inches later so when somebody does his researching really really bad why are you pointing the camera at me <laughs> I need to blame somebody else, not me. Blame son? Oh, is that here? No, no, nobody's here to blame, so it's uh, on you. Um, yeah, so it's not uh, as direct fit as we would wanted it to be. And now we are at the point where we need to fabricate some shit. So, when is Sunny arriving? Five minutes? Nothing like that. We're back and we had to sleep on this a little bit and think it over um, well i would say that uh, i didn't do as bad research as i thought but we had the wrong discs and how come you ask well it's pretty much easy because well in europe you could only have the brembo package when it comes to the z but in the states there was as well like a base model they didn't have brembos and the discs were in a different dimension and well i cannot say i don't know because i figured it out what happened because we had a customer z here in the shop and he wanted to have like bigger brakes on the car because he had a usdm model and discs that were planned for the s14 went up on his car and we already had the regular version discs well rotors whatever you want to call them for that car and well i kind of forgot that these rotors were for that car not for the s14 and that's why nothing fitted and well now this guy here made things even more complicated and said okay to hell with the Brembo 2 pistons uh, calipers, let's make it 4 piston calipers and... Now, because he complicated stuff, he needs to do the whole mock-up for the adapter so we can fit this thing on. Will it work? It has to work. <laughs> of course it has to work. <laughs> so, just, just for, for, for your eyes to see the difference. So, Titi Fume, uh, these are the... Brembo discs for the Z33, four piston calipers from the GDR33 and two pistons from the 350Z and I will show you on the other side the OEM brakes on the S14, tiny one piston caliper, uh, I think it's like 50 millimeter difference in the dimension of a disc and here you have the usdm version which is i think 25 millimeters smaller so something like this well it's hard to tell with this uh, wide lens 
and uh, it's thinner by six millimeters as well than the Brembo discs. So uh, I think brakes should work now pretty good with the four piston calipers. And of course we're gonna tidy them up. And yeah, what we are actually recycling because these calipers were just laying around the workshop. So if you're asking why not go, I don't know, stop take Winwood or whatever. Well, if we have material in the shop, let's use it and let's make it work, right? Yes. You need to recycle. Recycling. <laughs> Recycling. The old monster case card <laughs> to make a, a, a mock-up for this thing. Well, first we're gonna do it from carbon, then we're gonna transfer it to the compound and then we're gonna make it the proper way out of the, the metal. Yeah. And while I was gone, grabbing some nice new brake lines from Kushir's Garage. So if you need some nice braided brake lines, uh, different colors, different fittings, different lengths, well, it can be custom done or by the regular car. Check it out at Kushir's Garage. Um, yeah, so while I was gone picking up this, the guys already finished the adapters and already mounted our uh, recycled calipers. Uh, why I'm saying recycle because we're just gonna use them as they are ugly reddish uh, just to test everything out if everything works and then we're gonna tie them up in nice yellow flavored color and now oh, yeah I need to remove the old brake lines which are not just too short but the fitting for the caliper is a bit different than on these ones so that's done Tomorrow when it comes, we're gonna bleed the brakes and we're gonna do a quick test. Hopefully this will work. Time to bleed the brakes. Okay. Yo. Going up. Let me know what to do. Uh, just press the brake a bit. You ready? When I say. So, we're gonna do this later. So, time for a quick test. to go to race lane to test out the brakes uh, we found a really good alternative well depends who you ask uh, I cannot tell you much about this location I rather not tell you much about where we are at the moment but yeah uh, well we are not about to do anything stupid just to see if the brakes are working and how are they working and yeah figure out the handbrake so we can prepare the car for the game of drift Hopefully all is fine and we don't have to do any last second solutions to make things better. Yep.
boljš kaj prej? Ja, pa tudi ne zablokiral odzad takoj. Pa jih se jih malo več brzili. Sam dažem. A veš, tam avto se mički tako postavljamo. Ja, vse, ok. Subscribe our co content. Comment down below, and till next time, see ya.